Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a get ready with me. Um, I have had a few requests recently for different looks that I've done um, in different videos. And as I've stated before, I am not, you know, knowledgeable really about makeup at all except for just experimentation. What I have learned a little bit here and there on YouTube and just like what I have experimented with and found that I like on myself. So basically in my videos I usually do a pretty consistent, um, like my look is pretty consistently the same across most of my videos. Once in a while I'll do a more dramatic eye look or like obviously a more dramatic lip look. Um, than other days, but it's usually the same basic things that I'm doing. And then, like when I come across a new product that I really like, I will stick it in and be using that pretty consistently. So basically, today's get ready with me is going to be the look, my, like my go-to filming look for the past couple months. And now, when I'm going out, I never ever wear this much makeup. Like I, if I'm going somewhere where I want to wear makeup, I will maybe at most put a tinted moisturizer. I will like almost never ever do a full face of makeup. This is just for filming. So this is just because I like the way I look with a little bit like a more finished look when I'm filming and since I have to look at myself all the time when I'm editing, I have learned um, the way that I like to look for, for, for videos. For all other times, I'm either wearing absolutely no makeup or I'm wearing um, much more minimal. So never ever like a full face, like full foundation. That's just for filming really so that it looks a little bit nicer under the lights. Um, and then usually my eyes I'll do pretty much similar to what you see minus the um, lashes. And then everything else is pretty much the same when I'm going out. Just no foundation and no lashes. So um, I hope that this helps you guys out. If you have been wondering what I've been doing lately on my face, I didn't recreate like a particular look for any certain video because like I said, they're mostly um, a lot of the times the same. I just change up like the lippy and the eyeshadow. So um, I hope that you enjoy this and let's get going. Okay, so let's get into it. We're gonna start out with primer. This is Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which I don't actually use that often because I don't use foundation that often. But when I do, sometimes I like to stay, so I'll use a primer, you know, how we do. Then I'm going in with my foundation, one of my favorites of the year. A lot of the things you're gonna see today are like my favorite product in that area of this year. I have a few foundations that I like equally as well. This is L'Oreal True Match in C1. That's the shade that I wear and I'm putting it on with a beauty blender which is definitely my favorite way of the year to apply foundation. So yay beauty blender. Next I'm going to go in with concealer. This is the Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer in light or no this is fair number 15. And I really did like this concealer a lot. I think I found it towards the end of the year and I ended up liking it as one of my favorites of 2015 for sure. So now I'm going to contour and for contouring for very fair people, we want something with not a lot of um, orangey yellow tones in it. So I use my, actually my shade in my eye palette and I use the shade in the top middle called Lazarus. I have used this Oh, ever since I got this palette forever in 2015 it seems it works really good for my skin and then I'm actually using a Real Techniques uh, crease brush to apply that as well and then the elf powder brush to blend that in which I really just sped through there um, now I'm using the physicians formula um, eye shimmer strips this is the one that I really like for bronzing, when I bronze, which actually isn't that often, but this formula I'm using today is really, really light, so I do bronze when I use it. And then I also use it for highlight, which you'll see here in a minute. Um, this is me blending in my bronzer. Hello, hello me. And now we're going to do blush. This is my favorite blush of 2015. I think I was using it in 2014 too. It's Milani Luminoso 05. And I'm applying it with an e.l.f. blush brush. And here I am using my favorite method of um, an eyebrow product. And this is the Anastasia. <laughs> the Anastasia uh, Dip Brow Pomade in Caramel. And then I'm just using an e.l.f. Um, is it called an eye? eyebrow brush anyway um so yeah 
I could use the one, I guess, from Anastasia. That would be nice to try that one. Maybe I'll do that next. But anyway, definitely my favorite brow product of 2015 was the Dip Out Promade. And then I'm going in here and kind of like lightening up the front part. When you go a little heavy handed with the Promade, you can just take one of those spoolies and kind of lighten up a little bit. So now I'm using my Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer potion. Let's make this eyeshadow stick. And um, yeah, just getting ready to do the eyes. I'm going to be going in with my, sh oh, <laughs> I'm taking my NYC uh, City Proof Lip Primer real quick and getting those primed. I was like, oh yeah, got to do that. Now I'm going back in to do highlight. I thought I was about to contour my eyes, but I am going to do that next, I think. So here's the highlight again. I'm using, I think, the top row from that Physician's Formula, highlighting my nose. There we are. Now we're going to contour the eyes. So with my hooded eyes, um, yeah, I like to try to contour out a hollow of the eye there when I don't really have much of one. So I spend a little while doing this. So I'm taking that same brush that I was using for my face contour and contouring out my eye sockets. Okay, so the Urban Decay, um, I'm using a couple shades in that. Let me pull this out and look at what shades. It was Anonymous and Deeper and Backdoor. Those are the shades I'm going to use for this look today. And like I said, um, did I say in the beginning of this video? I'm already forgetting because I'm doing this voiceover a few days later from when I filmed. But um, basically in 2015, oh hi Lincoln, um, I did a lot of the same kind of looks, which is kind of just a smoky a smoky look for filming. It's what kind of brings out my eyes the best. I think I did do some like um, exaggerate, or exaggerated winged liner, but for the most part I did kind of a look like this. So um, basically I'm just going in with a, a couple different shades of brown. Usually I take my matte contour, a couple different shades of brown shimmer, and then here I am using that lighter anonymous shade up by the brow bone. And I just smoke it out, and that is usually the look that I use. Oh, I'm taking Anonymous on the lid of the eye as well to kind of make that pop a little bit. But um, for the most part, I usually did that. And then, like I said in my last swatch fest, um, that was a look that was similar to this, but then I just took like a darker green. I think I took from the same palette, I took Floss, and I put that on the lid as well. So. Most of my um, eye looks are variations of this look, which is why I want to do this one for you today because this is like my go-to filming look. And then I'm smoking out the bottom, you know, under the lash line. And, yeah. So, unless you see something drastically different <laughs> from me, which sometimes I'll do, like on a swatch fest, but usually this is the basic thing that I'm doing. So, then I'm lightening up the inner corners of my eyes with the L'Oreal Infallible, what is it called, Ice Latte. Really nice and brightening. Trying to bring some focus in there, away from the hooded portion. I learned that trick in 2015. What am I going to do next? And I really apologize for how much you're going to see the back of that mirror. It's a nice big mirror. <laughs> But I just noticed in this time, this is the first time I used it for a get ready with me, that obviously you're going to be able to see things reflected because it has a front and a back. So I'm really sorry about that if you've been bothered. This is probably my favorite eyeliner of 2015. This is NYC eyeliner um, in just black. It's a liquid line, eyeliner. I started out the year, I think, using the Stila one that's kind of a felt tip, but that sucker dried out like super fast in like a month or something, and it was expensive, so I was kind of disappointed in that. Um, but this NYC one is inexpensive. It's like, what, under $5, right? So I'm not doing a winged liner today. Sometimes I will. More often than not, actually I will. I was just not really going for it today. Just wanted something a little bit more simple, using my All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray from Urban Decay. I'm gonna curl those lashes. Sorry, my makeup setter was in the way. Of, you couldn't see how I curl my lashes. Um, yeah, curling the lashes. I have the tiniest little lashes. Using my, um, what is it? My Perversion, also from Urban Decay, um, black mascara, 
which I need to throw this puppy out because it's a sample and I'm pretty sure I've had it too long, so I need to throw that out. I want to try a couple of the new CoverGirl mascaras. They look good. So anyway, um, this is how I did my lashes today. So actually for all of 2015, I did not do my lashes this way. But this is a recent discovery that I really, really like a lot. And the reason is my eyes are small. And so typical lashes are too big for my eyes and they really won't fit well. So I'm using the Kiss Lash Trio um, in the extra short and the short variety because when they're too long, I just think that they look obvious. So this gives like a little bit more natural look for me. And also what it does is it, it takes twice as long. I'm going to be real about it. Oh, here I am showing you the eye on the left has lashes, the eye on the right does not. It's not a super dramatic difference, but for me, I can see it. So, um, anyway, it takes twice as long, I'm not going to lie, to do your lashes this way, but it is so much more comfortable. Like I can forget that I'm wearing lashes. But if I wear a lash strip band, I will never forget I'm wearing lashes because they're so like less comfortable than not. Here I am lining my lips with color pop button. It's just a really nice, easy nude color. I really need to sharpen this puppy. I've used it a lot this year. Definitely one of my favorites. And so yeah, I did want to mention that about lashes though, because if you guys have a hard time with band lashes, oh, you can see a Hello Kitty nail polish reflected in the back of my mirror. Um, I definitely recommend those trios of lashes because they're easier than like doing your lashes one by one, but they do give a nice effect. So I like them. We're getting to the end of the video here. I'm about to apply my lipstick. I'm going to be using a L'Oreal in Julianne's Nude. Nice and rosy nude lippy and we are coming to a close. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that um, kind of gave you a pretty good idea of what I do day to day. And I'll meet you back in just a second. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, obviously, as you can probably tell, I am not a makeup artist or um, a professional in any part of the word. Um, but this is just how I've been doing my makeup lately for videos. So I hope that helps if you've been wondering what I've been doing recently. And basically all the products that I've been pretty consistently using, just changing up the eyeshadow usually. So... Um, yeah, thanks for stopping in to watch and hang out with me a bit today, guys. I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.